The second edition of the International Architectural Education Summit, hosted by IE School of Architecture, recently took place in Madrid and Segovia. Organised jointly by IE School of Architecture and UCLA, the summit's key theme was innovation in architectural education. Award-winning architect Tom Main gave the keynote address. Before the event, IE School of Architecture's Associate Dean for External Relations, Martha Thorne, met with Tom for a chat about the changing world of architecture and the current challenges in architectural education. Tom, you've, you've been involved in professional practice and academics throughout your career. You must have seen lots of changes. Which are the most significant ones and why? The position of the architect uh, is diminished in some ways. We're expected to do less and the power of the client has increased. Mm -hmm. That's one. The, the other direction would be um, a little bit more optimistic. <laughs> the, uh, the potential of our design activities has um, radically shifted with the, um, the computer environment, with mm -hmm. the digital environment, and has hugely changed um, my practice, mm -hmm. and has changed, of course, teaching. Again, for me, teaching and practicing have always been incredibly integrated. Right. And at some point in my life, probably until quite recently, I was just about unable to, to separate the two. They were, they were indistinguishable. My, my practice is a research place. The university is a research place. And the, uh, the people were interchangeable, of course. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In, in terms of education specifically, what, what is the next big challenge you see facing education? I think it's actually an incredibly interesting time in evaluating how we educate architects at this moment of time. There's been, a, I would have said, a diminishing role of the architect within hmm, the investment in the educational institutions into the formal, let's say, as designers, in quotes. And that um, I think it's been a bit problematic. It's funny coming from me, because that's my generation, and I'm probably link, linked to that very specifically. We all are. But uh, I, I think it's, it's decreased the, 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 the range the breadth of what architect, how architects are seen in society. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm startled today that um, fewer and fewer architects are even being asked to solve complex, urban, intricative, infrastructural, ecological problems. They go to landscape architects, so they go to the rounds or something, and it's kind of startling, because we're clearly um, trained, let's say, mm -hmm. to deal with um, the integration of complex mm -hmm seemingly contradictory mm -hmm. um, facets of problems, and um, that has to change. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, I think that we're understanding that um, our students are not necessarily going to end up as architects, that those abilities have to be transferable to any number of disciplines, and they should be, mm -hmm. don't you think? Mm -hmm. And that um, it's a good, it's a I think we've also kind of exhausted a certain amount of the formal mm -hmm. stuff. I mean, it seems like a good time to kind of, kind of really rethink yep. the nature of um, yep. the context of information we bring to them as they, they themselves form what they think architecture is. And is. I have to say, in, in, in my recent uh, groups at UCLA, I'm finding there's a, um, an interest in the collective practice versus the individual. Mm -hmm. And there's an interest in reconnecting to political, social problems from bottom up, which is good news. So would, when you look at strengths of students now, nowadays, would you say that those are some of the strengths that make you optimistic, this ability to look more broadly? Or is there some, some other strengths that you see that give you cause for optimism? Students are wrong. Uh, I mean, I love teaching because students are essentially uh, inquisitive and optimistic. And they, it's, uh, I would actually look at the, the the educational environment more than with the student. I think the students uh, just intuitively have some sense, which is um, more contemporary, let's say. And they can just smell it. They can just sense it. And um, I think maybe one of the problems with, is, with the, the academy is that there's not enough fluidity or malleability, and it's dragging. It is institutional. And as all institutions, it's cumbersome. Mm -hmm. It moves you know, the, 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 a bit slowly for the, the, the nature of um, the changes taking place in our society today. Mm -hmm. um, Steve Jobs wouldn't make it 
within <laughs> our system. <laughs> you have to be able to work quickly and respond, right, to the um, problem formation. I'm going to talk about that today. Not thought formation. That's no, everyone will agree on that. It's problem formation that we have to become much more active, and um, the students are ready for that. I'm totally optimistic that that that's available for us. That's great. Tom, we're really glad that you're here in Madrid and Segovia, and it's really a privilege that you're here to kick off this summit. Thanks Truly. a lot. I look forward to it. Great. Thanks.